More than 10 years after a UNCC student was found dead in Gaston County, the man convicted of her murder is still maintaining his innocence. Lawyers for Mark Carver are asking for a new trial while prosecutors are trying to make his conviction stick. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly spent all day at Carver's hearing, and Ashley, this is a story we've been following really since the very beginning. Yeah, Sarah, for more than a decade, and it's a tough one. You know, on one hand, you have a family who has spent the last 10 years wanting closure in the death of their daughter. While on the other hand, you have a man convicted of her murder who he says is innocent. At the Gaston County Courthouse inside courtroom 4D, the fate of a man currently serving a life sentence for murder is in limbo. For the last five days, attorneys with the North Carolina Center for Actual Innocence have been arguing that Mark Carver's original trial in 2011 was filled with injustices. For me, the most important aspect is was the prosecution trying to um, reach justice in this case, or were they just trying to win a case? In 2008, 20-year-old UNCC student Ira Yarmolenko's body was found strangled to death along the Catawba River, her car found nearby. During the investigation, police say Mark Carver's DNA was found in two places near the rear of the car. But today, the defense called a forensic DNA analyst to the stand. He testified the DNA collected at the scene was inconclusive. It just was too small of a sample. Correct. It was a, it was a profile that was missing a lot of information. It should not have been used in his conviction. Correct. Although Carver has maintained his innocence since the beginning, prosecutors today argue that the DNA evidence is clear, puts him at the scene, and that his conviction should stand. Over the last five days of this hearing, Carver has been there listening in and many wondering if he himself will take the stand to testify as well. So far, no confirmation if he will. Reporting live at the Gaston County Courthouse, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte. Ashley, thank you.